Hello everybody. In this video, you will learn how to quickly copy only new data from another workbook using Excel VBA. So here on my desktop, you will see two different files. The first one is our primary tool where we will write the VBA code. And the second file contains the sample data we will use for this demo. So I will cover two ways of copying new data from another workbook. The first uses single reference column. So we will use the order ID column as the reference in the first example. And it will only copy the records with the order ID that not exist yet in our primary tool. The second way uses all columns as references. So in this example, you can see duplicate records like um, the East Boston and Bars and the East Boston and Crackers. So once we select this file later, it should only copy unique records to our primary tool. Now let's start with the single reference column. Let's open BBA editor and I will insert a new module. I will just name it single reference then we'll use option explicit as a good practice and then for the procedure i will name it copy data single reference or single rep let's start by declaring our or declaring a variable for our workbook i will just name it twb it should be a workbook type this is our workbook variable and I will set that equals to this workbook. Next is I will declare a variable that will represent uh, our one column worksheet. So this is the this workbook um, one column sheet. And then I will set that variable equals to twb that sheets. I will use the worksheet name, which is the one call. All right, next is we need to open the sample data file. But before we can do that, we need to know the path of that file first. So I will declare a variable named path file. It should be of type string. And then I will set that equals to application that get open file name. Again, this function will allow us to select a file and then the selected file or VBA will capture the path of the selected file. Once we have the, the file of the path, we can open the sample data workbook. But first, let's declare a variable that will represent our sample data workbook. I will just name that data wb. So this is our sample data workbook. And let's set that equals to workbooks that open. And then indicate the path of the file, which is the path file variable. And then let's try this code from here first so we can see if this is working or not. Let's select the data. And here you can see on my screen that it opens the, the sample data workbook. And we will also declare a variable that, re that will represent the, this target worksheet. I will just name that data sh as a worksheet. So this is the sample data id rep sheet and then we will set that using the worksheet name so data sh is equals to data wb that sheets um, id rep all right so the next step is to loop through all this record so let's start from that And we will be needing a counter variable for that. I will just uh, name it A. And it, it, I will use long as the type of the variable. And then we will initialize that variable with 2 because the first record is in row number 2. And then for the end of the loop, we will just use the current region of this table. So that is data sh that um, range a1 that current region that throws that count next say and our next step is to check if each record exists in our primary tool so we need another loop in our primary tool so check if, check if data exists 
in the primary tool. Let me just add more space in here. So we, we need a variable, a Boolean variable that we can use as reference. And then by default, I will set this variable equals to false. And now we can look to our primary tool um, worksheet. So let's declare another counter variable. I will just name it B. And then let's start the loop. So for B is equals to so here our first record also starts in row number 2 so we will also initialize that counter variable equals to 2 and then for the end of the loop that will be uh, we will also use the current region of our uh, worksheet table so that worksheet is the one sh that range a1 that current region oops that rows that count next b so now we can uh, validate if uh, the order id exists by using an if statement if data sh that range a and concatenate the counter variable that value is equals to one sh that range a and b that value if there they is equal then meaning the record exists so we need to set our boolean variable the order id exists equals to true and also we will exit the for so that it will not check for the other items because it already knows that the record already exists so next to that is we need to copy the record if not exist within the primary tool and we can validate that using the boolean variable order id exists is equal to false then meaning the record does not exist yet so before we can copy the data in here we need to know the next available row first so i will declare a next row variable with a type of long and then this is equals to the one sh that range a1 that current region again rows that count and then we will add one so that we can it will return to us the next available row in this table so once we have the next available row we can now start copying the record and to copy the record i will be using a for loop again since we have multiple column in here and since the table have the same uh, column formatting so we can just use this approach uh, another way is you can simply uh, assign the the column for column like range a1 is equals to range a1 of this workbook but if you have the same table column formatting then you can use this approach so i need another counter variable for this and i will just name it c uh, where are my counter variable here so it should be of type long as well and then it will be 4c is equals to 1 because the first column is in column number 1 and then for the end of the loop i will be using the column step count function so for the row index i will be using the a counter variable and then for the column index, I will use columns that count that end Excel to left and column next C. And then now we can start copying the data from the sample data to our primary tool. So one SH that sells the row index will be our next row. For the column index, we can use the counter variable C. And that is equals to data SH that sells the row index is A column index is c dot volume and after we copy all the non-existing record we can close the file for the sample data workbook so we can just use the variable for that workbook that is the data wb that close and then we'll use false for save changes parameter and then we can also show a message box to the user that the process completed 
and just add an information icon and for the title i will just use pba copy data or new data or maybe we can change the message to new data has been copied all right so now we can test the code by assigning this macro to this button assign the macro select that and i have to close the file first so now let's select the file and here we can see here that uh, there are only some data copied to our workbook because these are the only data that does not exist yet in this worksheet for the second way using all column as references we will do that in the next video if you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed for more vba video and by the way you can also download the sample data and the code from a link in the video's description I'll see you in the next VBA video.